This is Slade McLennan with Sunbelt Fire, and today I had the opportunity to speak with Captain Chris Summerlin with the Elba Fire Department. And as our spotlight on a firefighter, Chris, I just wanted to ask you, what got you interested in just getting involved in the fire service? Well, I went to a small high school, and uh, I had a small volunteer fire department in my high school, which is not the high school that this city represents, but it's a county school. And uh, my ag teacher was a fireman. And he was always leaving class, going and fighting fires, and he was having to go by himself. And I asked him one day, I said, the next time you get something, I'll go with you. He said, really? I said, yeah, I'll help you as much as I can. Well, for my first grass fire, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And I had an English teacher, uh, Karen Knight Nice. Her husband was one of the firemen killed in Fort Worker. And around 2001, he got ran over when the truck was engaged on accident. And uh, the impact it had on her and uh, how much I looked up to him after all that happened. I said, well, that's what I want to do when I graduate. So I wrote my high school research paper on the process of becoming a fireman. From that point on, I graduated high school, and I stayed at home in Elba. I went to school at Auburn, vice versa. So I left Auburn, and I come back to Elba. I told my city fire chief, I said, I want to join the fire department. He said, well, how long have you been on at Zion Chapel, which is where I went to school at? He said, well, we can just transfer you in. And I had to get voted to go through this whole big process. I got voted on at 18. I was the very first fireman in Elba, under 21 ever on. So from that point on, through years, I tried to recruit as many of my friends as I could, which is you've met today, Jeremy, Drew, and all them. And uh, mm. it's just been a family thing ever since. And we hang out every weekend, and I just enjoy being around them and protecting the people in my city that I grew up with and know, and knowing that we all can make a difference every weekend and every day. Mm. Chris, it's just encouraging when I hear this because it's people like you that honestly – allow you know people throughout all of our communities to just know hey that somebody's going to be there to take care of them is there anything just specifically that kind of stands out in your mind i know you just you know referred to the accident in fort rucker is there anything that really stands out in your mind that's just had a big impact on you personally i say we've had some tragic losses as friends since we've been on the fire department as in people not associated that we have to respond to emergency scenes on and it's been rough on every one of us because we're all the same age and uh, we all graduate the same place, so anytime we go to a certain call, it's family. I know that sounds, you know, I keep repeating family, but we're all kin to somebody that's somewhere that has a problem. So uh, the teenage wrecks we respond to, are actually when we have to make that decision, we're not friends with them at that point in time where you have to separate yourself. And at times that's probably the most difficult thing to do. And the hardest and probably the most memorable thing was we had a great friend of every one of ours dying. Out. Uh, tragic car crash that we all kind of had to separate ourselves from and uh, a lot of us couldn't do it and uh, it took some of the older guys that didn't know in person to have to do it and it, it was hard on all of us personally to have to sit back and watch and not be able to be a part of it so I think that's probably the most thing that touched me the most for not being up there for him like we should have been mm. based on a personal standpoint so that would be the only thing that I could think that touched personally that we've done and dealt with. Mm. Well, Chris, I just thank you again with just creating a new friendship and just look forward for, for many years to come. And I just thank you for your attitude and desire to serve people and impact people. It, it just means a lot. I appreciate you. Thank you, sir.